I'm Justin Trottier, Executive Director of CAFE, that's the Canadian Association for Equality, and our slogan is, Equality Means Equality for Everyone. Now maybe you've heard about us from a friend, and you're thinking, how could anyone be against that idea? Or maybe you've heard about us from, well, a non-friend, and you think we might be an angry, sexist organization. Or maybe you're just curious. Either way, I'd like to introduce us and tell you about what we do, who we are, and who we're not. This video is part of a series that we're producing called Cafe Take Two. The two refers to a second take on issues of gender, where we focus on men's as well as women's issues. We'll talk about current events, about enduring concerns, and about our work and how you can be a part of it. We'll also combine various sorts of segments, monologues, dialogues, interviews, and investigative reports. If anything we say here elicits from you a question or a comment, we encourage you to reach out to us, to probe further or to provide feedback. CAFE was founded in 2010 by a group of men and women who were concerned that something had gone wrong with the noble ideal of equality in general and sexual equality in particular. Specifically, it seemed that a lot of people who were in favor of women's rights, as we are, had gotten the idea that being pro-woman somehow meant ignoring men, as if it came down to a zero-sum game. It was as though the phrase war of the sexes was being taken literally, except the weapons now are words, laws, and policies instead of guns and tanks, as if there was some kind of battle going on in which anything women gained had to be wrested away from boys and men. Those who disagreed with that point of view are therefore by definition the enemies, the oppressors of women. Those who argue that men have their own distinctive needs and problems, as we do, are routinely treated as rivals of women for sympathy or dignity or funding for social services. At CAFE, we don't think that way at all. We're uplifted by all the gains that women have made over the years. Moreover, we don't deny the continuing existence of misogyny. But we observe the existence also of misandry. Sexism comes in two flavors, therefore, and not just one. What makes us different from a lot of groups is our conviction that when women gain, men gain, and that when men lose, women lose. After all, men are women's husbands, fathers, brothers, sons, friends, partners, and colleagues. And too often men are losing. There are too many male suicides, too many male dropouts, too many men in prison, too many fathers without access to their children, and too many children who suffer as a result. At CAFE, we support women's rights and favor significant funding to support women's services. But we also ask important questions such as, why are there hundreds of domestic violence shelters for women in Canada, funded by both government and private donors, but only one in the entire country for men? Yes, there are homeless shelters for men. But if a man is fleeing an abusive relationship, where can he go with his children? Either he leaves his children with the abuser or he stays and, quote, takes it like a man to protect his kids, which isn't healthy and it isn't fair. Now, at this point, some people might be saying, but hey, only men are abusers and only women are victims. This has become a common idea. Listen to politicians and media talk about domestic violence. And it's amazing how often they assume that the victims are women. Almost anyone who hears about a 911 domestic call is likely to assume there's a woman with a black eye sheltering terrified children and an angry man. But the statistics show otherwise. Domestic violence is a problem that plagues us all and that cuts across all ethnicities, all racial groups, and also all genders and sexual orientations. We provide much needed support for men who have been hit, cut, scalded, and even run over by female partners. Surprised? Well, it's the kind of innovative research that we do at CAFE. We think that there should be help for everyone in need of it, regardless of sex, race, age, or any other criterion. In fact, we're in the process of setting up the first dedicated shelter for fathers and children in Canada's largest city, thanks to the many donors who have made this possible. Actually, men need help in many ways. Did you know that three quarters of the suicides in Canada are men? that over 90% of workplace fatalities are men, that boys are far more likely than girls to drop out of school. 
that men are overwhelmingly more likely to end up in jail. If it were women suffering in these ways, there would be outrage, and rightly so. But too often, men are suffering in silence. Trained to be stoical, they try to drown their sorrow, smoke it out, shoot it up, and wind up dead. Too often, the public response is indifference. It's not fair, it's not just, it's not equality. Ask the woman who's lost a son or access to her son's children. We don't want to take any gains away from women. We just think that equality means equality for everyone. If you agree, check out our webpage at equalitycanada.com and stay tuned for more episodes of Cafe Take Two. For Cafe, I'm Justin Trottier. Thank you.